what to say. The score is a shocking 4-0 with five rounds left to play and Team Slipspace has a commanding and a very surprising lead over Team Heretic, who I'm not sure really understands the concept of an athletic sport. At one point, they managed to score on their own goal, which I'm not sure is even technically possible. The ball is specifically designed not to do that. You see, I was like, zoop, and that Elite was like, what? And I went, uh-uh, score! How you like me now, aliens? You guys are doing great! Yeah, we are. On a relative scale. Probably was my speech. Probably, coach. Well, look what the cat dragged in. Hey, Kamish, great team. Hey guys, nice first half. Kamish, what's going on out there? I don't know, I guess we should have covered the rule book with them a little better, or maybe even translated into their language. Kind of overlooked that part. Rules are overrated. It's all about heart. Yeah, well, heart and a basic understanding of the purpose of the game. But mostly heart. Right, listen though, I do need to ask you guys a favor. Favor? Yeah, we kind of need you guys to, uh, lose. To what? To lose. In the second half, we need you to kind of tank. Hi, I'm Tank. That's me. Not now, Le Tank. Okay. Well, I have a couple of questions. One of them being, how? But mainly, why? Well, people really expected the aliens to win. We've done a lot of marketing around them. I talked to the other owners, and they all agree that a great alien team is good for business. And a bad alien team? A terrible alien team. Worst alien team ever. Is not so good for business. Why is that our problem? Maybe we're just really good. We're not. I said maybe. Well, it's kind of everybody's problem, because I guarantee the networks and our merchandisers certain ratings, and to do that, I kind of had to use all the teams and league assets as collateral. You bet our teams against our teams? Seemed like a slam dunk at the time. You can't do that without our coach's permission. Oh, right. We did do that. Yeah, seemed like a real slam dunk. Who knew? Whoa, 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 whoa. Doesn't it usually work the other way, where the underdog team has to win the game to save the league? Th this is unbelievable. Well, it could mean good things for Grip Ball. And that could mean good things for you. Probably not, though. Like a new practice field? You could have this stadium. Don't quote me on that. Profit sharing and the network deal? That seems fair. No promises. And we don't have to pay for our uniforms out of our paychecks anymore. I think we could work that out. Void in all 50 states. Tank? Jacques? Anything you want? I would like free advertising for my charitable foundation. I didn't know you had one. I would also like my own charitable foundation. Tank? Well, I don't know. Um... I guess I'd be willing to do it if they let us win this game. That's all that really matters to me. We'll just make him a trophy. So, uh, we have a deal? Stu Stuman here with your post-game wrap-up in what can only be called the most ridiculous and longest comeback of all time. Team Heretic pulled out the win 5-4 to four in a record-setting six-hour second half. Well, that was a hard game, fellas. But I guess you could say we did what we had to do. I thought we were going to be able to pull that one out for a few minutes. We. It was a close one. I got a trophy. Well, Coach, as always, next season. Yep, we'll get him next year. Last one in the new stadium has to be the goalie.